because the Institute of Public Affairs poll asked the very straightforward question that the Australia Institute poll didn't, which was, do you think that Australia Day should be celebrated on January the 26th? So that was the, the very straightforward question that we asked the 1,013 respondents and 70% said that it should re remain on the 26th of January. So um, that's, that's basically the difference. The, the Australia Institute poll asked a series of, of uh, asked, asked a, a more tricky question which was sort of um, uh, about, you know, do you think Australia Day, do you, do you think the day that Australia Day uh, is celebrated really matters? Um, we just ask the straightforward question, do you think the current day that Australia Day is on, January the 26th, should be, should be retained? Again, it comes back to the question of what January the 26th represents, and I think it's a cause for celebration. I think it's a time for celebration. I think the vast majority of Australians, when they're having a barbecue and drinking a cold beer on the 26th of January, are thinking about how great it is to be an Australian and why they think the values and the institutions of this country are important and why they should be celebrated. And I think that having citizenship ceremonies on the 26th of January is a really special part of celebrating Australia's history, of celebrating those institutions and of making it clear to people that when they come to this country they're a part of something that is terrific, that is something we're really proud of and that we're really confident going forward as a nation that we have that history to be proud of and we want to continue many of those institutions.